Hello everybody and welcome to part 3 of Soundtrack Pro from start to finish. Um, we're going to talk about sampling rates, ruler units, and we're going to talk about how to set the tempo. Um, let's talk about sampling rate first. 48 kilohertz is what I recommend, especially if you're working with video. Supposedly, the higher the kilohertz, the, the better the sound, even if your human ear can't distinguish it. If you're working with a CD or something, you might want to set it to 44. But in general, I keep it on 48. That's my general rule. Now, how do you set the sampling rate in Soundtrack Pro? Well, one way is right here. You can see this little box right here. You click it, you can see we have 44, 1, 48, 96, all the way up to 192. So that's one way. You can go up to Soundtrack Pro. Now this is for your project. If you if you adjust it here, it's going to adjust the kilohertz of the project that you're currently working on. If you go to Soundtrack Pro Preferences and go to the Project tab, down here there will also be a sample rate. Now this will be the general universal. What it will make it, every new project will be this. If you want it to be 44, set it to 44 and every project will be 44. But I say leave it at 48, leave your projects in Final Cut Pro at 48. If you start in 48, end in 48, don't be mixing and, and mixing and matching your sample rates. So I just leave mine in 48 all the time. When I record, I make sure it's 48. When I export, I make sure it's 48. It's just a good rule to leave everything at 48. Okay? And that's how you set your sampling rate within Soundtrack Pro. Now, you can also set your beats inside of Soundtrack Pro which is this right here this timeline you can see now I have it set to seconds you can see 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds 40 seconds now that's for video you know this naturally Soundtrack Pro is set up to work with video but you can use it to edit audio too and it's set up for seconds like I say because we edit video with it mainly but if you want to edit audio in it you'll want it set up as beats and in order for it to be beats instead of seconds go over here to your project tab and scroll down 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 let's see there we go under properties there'll be a ruler units and it can be seconds or beats and if I select beats watch over here in the timeline the, the uh, ruler right here okay well, beats and boom that changes it to beats Okay, so that's how you switch from beats to seconds. Uh, is there anything else? The tempo. If you'll notice, there's no tempo setting. Usually in most audio applications, you'll see a tempo setting either down here or at least up here somewhere. But you won't in the side of Soundtrack Pro. And that's because over in Soundtrack Pro, it's stuffed in the project pane just like the ruler units are. Go to your project tab. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to get your tempo. This is where you can set your tempo. You can also set your time signature. <clears throat> which is 3 4s, 4 4s, 5 4s, 6 8s, 7 8s. Which is, you know, 3 4s would be 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And uh, 4 4s would be 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. So um, you can set your time signature. I usually leave it on four, four. You can set your key from A to B, C, D, F. It's up to you. And you can set your tempo right here as well. And uh, I don't know why they didn't put a tempo adjustment tool inside of the you know the the workspace somewhere I don't know why they stuffed it over in properties but that that is where they put it so in case you're wondering where it is that's where it is one more thing little quick thing I want to go over while we're here is um, sometimes people have an external microphone that they use or sometimes they'll use the internal eyesight microphone and they'll come into soundtrack pro and they won't be able to hear it themselves they won't be able to record any audio or hear any audio and uh, there's a few things that they need to check first off before we get too in deep into things in this first little um, introductory video. Go to your recording tab over here in the right pane and under input the very top pop-up menu 
you can pick your input device. Built-in microphone, I'm using the Samson C03U. So I'll pick the Samson C03U. I like to record in mono when I do my videos. So I just put it on mono. Okay. And monitoring is if you have a set of headphones, you can hear your voice through. If you don't have headphones, you'll hear your voice coming through the speaker. Whatever you're speaking into the microphone will come out the speakers of your computer. And you'll get an echo because your microphone will pick up your voice and it'll pick up your voice coming out of the speakers. So if you're monitoring your audio, you'll want to wear headphones. And if you wear headphones, you can hear yourself in the headphones if you turn monitoring on. And, and some people like to hear themselves when they talk or when they sing or, or whatnot. And that's how you would do it. You'd say monitoring. And I've, I've got my none right now. But I'd say built-in output or Soundflower. I, I like to use Soundflower for a lot of different applications. So um, that's what monitoring does. So you'll notice that my little meter here is little recording meter is not working that's because my track isn't armed for recording and now that I've armed it for recording you'll see that um, it is working and I'm not going to get into recording we'll get into all that later I just wanted to say well, hey wait a minute why ain't his audio working that's because I didn't have my track armed for recording so I didn't want to confuse anybody okay so if you've got your microphone set right and you've got everything set up and your monitoring is on or off however you want it uh, they're still having some problems. There's a few. One more place you can check. You can go to your spotlight and start typing audio MIDI. Now there's no MIDI in Soundtrack Pro, but you. But still, if you go to the audio MIDI setup, it's in your utilities folder. If you scroll down to the device you're using, make sure your levels are set and it's not muted. Okay, I mean, it's probably not going to be the case. Okay, but it's just one of them things that you really need to double check if you're having problems. So that's it for this little third third video. Uh, I just wanted to get tempo, wh where the tempo was, how to change the ruler units to beats and seconds. I wanted to show you how to change the sampling rate. And I wanted to show you how to kindly start trouble, you know, getting your microphone if you can't hear yourself or, or if it's not picking you up. A few things you can check. And I just wanted to get those out of the way before we really start diving in to Soundtrack Pro. In case I do change the sample rate for some reason or up the tempo, I can go straight there and I won't have to explain, you know, where it is and why I'm going there. You guys will automatically know. Now, in our last video, I said we'd talk about this, what this little bar is up here. And what this is called, it's called your global view. Now, I really wish we had one of these in Final Cut. It would be awesome. I love this thing. So, everybody knows down here, this controls our timeline, where we scroll through our timeline. If we grab either end, we can zoom in or zoom out, okay? Or we can use this little bar to zoom in and zoom out. And if you notice, I want you to notice this little block right here on our global view. Now, what this is is what we're looking at right here in the timeline. Everything we see right here in this timeline is inside this little box. So this little box is this right here, okay? As you see, as we scroll it and zoom out, that box gets bigger because we're seeing more in our timeline. <clears throat> Excuse me, we're seeing more in our timeline. So if we have some real big tracks, whoa, you can see now our little box up here is real skinny because we're just seeing this one track. And we can grab this and we can scroll down like this or move it around and up and down you can see we can find any place in our mix that we want to go because in a especially in a sound mix you can have all kinds of elements and let's zoom up a little bit or hit shift Z now you can see that encompasses the whole thing so let's make our track smaller so we can see all of our tracks in the timeline and now if I want to go up here to say this part I can grab here shoot let's go right up there and there we go I can come right down here if my tracks are real big and I want to focus on this orange one, I can grab it and bring it right down here. Right there we go. Right there's our orange track. Okay. So this global view is beautiful. And I really wish it was in Final Cut Pro, but it's not. I digress. So that's all the global view is. It just helps you quickly navigate your timeline so you can get to where you need to go. So thanks for watching this part three of the video. Um, stay tuned for part four. We're going to get into more of actually how Soundtrack Pro works in our next video.
So thanks for watching.